Hey guys, this is Rob from KY Constrictors. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new friend of mine. His name is Daryl Strawberry, and we're going to feed him. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, guys. So this is Daryl Strawberry. He is my strawberry Pac-Man frog. Um, I picked him up just because I wanted to get back into the Pac-Mans. I had one before. I loved him to death. Unfortunately, he passed away this past February. Uh, fat boy, R.I.P. Anyways, uh, get a close-up look at him. He is a morph of the Pac-Man frog called Strawberry. He is a strawberry albino. So yeah, gorgeous fella, man. His green's coming in good. Anyways, quick look at his setup here if I can zoom out. Um, literally, I just got Eco Earth in here and it's real damp. I uh, got some frog moss, some sphagnum moss, both to help out with humidity, and a very shallow water bowl something that he can get into and soak if he wants to and not drown him. You don't want to fill this thing up because then he could possibly drown. Uh, believe it or not, these are land frogs, but they do like the water. Uh, also, that is 100% spring water. You don't want to use stuff like tap water because of chlorine and other cleaning agents they use to clean the tap water. Also, you don't want to use something like distilled water because it has no minerals in it. Spring water, best thing for these guys. They have the minerals these guys need. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling on. You all came for a feeding video. Let's get on with it. Alright guys, so what we're going to offer him here today is just a good old-fashioned night crawler. Um, I pick up these night crawlers from my pet store. Not a bait shop, but a pet store. And we're going to see how he... How he does. Oh yeah. He turn her up. Try not to get all the eco earth on there. It's okay for him to ingest some of the bedding, but you don't want to leave a whole lot. So I always try to hold it up some for him.
And there you guys have it. I hope y'all enjoyed meeting my friend Daryl. He's going to be an awesome uh, addition to have here at KY Constrictors. Uh, stay tuned for another video I got coming out. It's going to be an introduction to a few of the snakes that I picked up over the past year. Uh, there's about five or six of them that I've been really wanting to show you guys that I had to go put them in quarantine. I didn't really want to mess with them in quarantine. I just wanted them to adapt to get used to being here. Uh, you all can understand that. Anyways, next video, that's what that's going to be. Um, a couple projects that I got into, stuff like that. Anyways, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit a like. Tell me what you think. Tell me what kind of videos you all want to see next. Um, I got plans to do a lot more content out here for you guys. So give me some ideas. Help me out. You know, help me out and I'll make it happen. Anyways, make sure you all be good or be good at it.